guys. It was one of those days where I got back later in the afternoon from fishing the morning. And then by the time I took care of some things, I made some food and I made some bracelets to fill some Fable Lifestyle orders. By the time all that was done, it was like seven o'clock and I could have either hustled to go fish somewhere or I could relax, um, take care of some things and shoot my bow and show you guys my new bow. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do because I have so much new archery stuff this year. I'm so excited to show everyone and explain why I'm using what I use. So I'm, I'm really excited. And here's the thing, uh, it's the harsh reality really. It sucks talking about it, but you guys probably know um, I rolled my truck over and over and over and over again in September, this past September. And ever since then, I've had a really serious neck injury and actually some collarbone uh, issues. And ever since it happened in September, I was afraid to pull my bow back because I was in so much pain, mostly my left area right here um, and my neck, and I'm a lefty. So after months and months of going to the chiropractor, and my chiropractor's a hunter, he's great. Um, I'll put his name below in case anyone in Salt Lake area-ish needs a chiropractor but well uh, my chiropractor has been helping me a lot but it's kind of one of those things where my neck is still really really bad I still have a serious neck injury so I actually went to the chiropractor yesterday and I uh, got it worked on and after that happens you're supposed to take it easy I'm supposed to take it easy every day we know I don't do that but I really really need to because my neck has been bad and it is a little sore already, just kind of on this side. Um, but I'm going to take it easy. I will probably only shoot my bow once or twice today for you guys. But I'm still going to show you everything that goes into my bow. And uh, because of this neck injury, I haven't worked out since like around May 1st. Because I was getting better, getting better, starting to go to the gym, starting to feel normal again. Boom, hit rock bottom, just kind of reversed my injury. Um, possibly from a couple different things, but I got too comfortable where I started to feel normal again and then boom, back to square one. So I'm not going to do that again. I haven't been to the gym since then. I'm kind of afraid. Um, I'm going to slowly start working back into strengthening my muscles, but we're not there yet. But because of that, there was one point in my life when I pulled back 57 pounds on my bow. That's insane. I did that on my first bow ever and I worked so hard to get my poundage up all the time, shot it like three times a day. So I know how to work towards increasing my poundage. That's not my priority right now. My bow, because of my injury, has been recommended to be set um, as low as it can go, which is 40. So my bow set at 40, um, I'm okay with that. I know at 40 pounds I can still hammer a deer or an elk. I'm gonna try and move it up to at least 45, but I have all summer to slowly work on that and take it easy on my neck. So that's what I'm gonna do. But if you guys have injuries and stuff and you have to deal with that, I'm sorry, I feel your pain, it sucks. I've always been the person that's pushed through injuries and either gotten through it or made them worse, but neck injuries are not something to mess around with. That's what I've learned. So I'm not gonna make it worse. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do what I'm told and take it easy. I'll still be a super great bow hunter. I was a great bow hunter last year. I'll be a great bow hunter this year. Nothing like that is gonna change. I'm still gonna kill some deer and elk. So let me show you my bow. It's so pretty. Look, I have it even like the pressure points for the case wrapped in washcloth. <laughs> so, it is the Sitka Subalpine camo that you guys know I wear with pink accents. It is the Hoyt Redworks Carbon RX1 made out of carbon, so it's super light. It's like 3.9 something pounds without everything on it. With everything on it, it's a little bit heavier, but still will be lighter in terms than my bow last year. It is so pretty. So I just got it set up at Wild Arrow Archery. They're in Centerville. Not that much north of Salt Lake, pretty close actually. And they seriously are the only people I trust with my bow. I went to them last year and after that I said I will never get my bow worked on anywhere else ever again because they helped me so much and they are such experts that it made me feel confident in my shooting and Jeremiah actually even changed the way I draw back and my anchor point for my bow and I was reluctant at first I started shooting and I was shooting like crap doing it the new way 
And I was like, what the heck? I was a good shooter before the way I did it, blah, blah, blah. I stuck with it and not after long, I was getting the tightest groups, seriously, ever. And um, even at 50 yards, which for my poundage, 50 yards is far. I can't go much farther than that, but I seriously was getting one inch groups at 50 yards. So that is badass. So, so this is my release right here. Same one as last year where I killed my big buck with. Same quiver as last year. Pretty simple. Same uh, rest as last year. New uh, wrist strap. I might change it back to my old one. We'll have to see. I'm going to go with whatever's most comfortable. I have my range finder. And something else that's new this year that I'm going to give them a try. I used to shoot these Montec G5 carbon steels. And something that was pointed out to me that was a good point is see how they're open? Um, that creates air going through them when you shoot them and they will whistle. So this new brand I'm going to try right here is Ozcut out of Australia, three blade. These are 150 grain. I was shooting 100 grain last year. 150 grain might be too heavy for me. They say the weight in the front is important though with such a low draw weight and a small um, draw length. I shoot 24 and a half, I'm tiny. But I'm really excited to give these a try. If the 150s are too much, I can go down to a 100 or 125. But see, there's no holes in them. They won't whistle. They're super sharp. I'm really excited to use them. So excited. Out of Australia. Which is cool because the knife company I'm going to be using this year is out of Australia. Tassie Tiger Knives. I'm going to be having a discount code with them soon. So, shall we get this shooting? So, let me just show you something else that is new real quick. Easton Arrows. I was shooting those Ted Nugent pink ones in the past. I did have good luck with all the things that I'm switching from. It's not that they weren't doing well. These are just slight upgrades in the quality of the things that I'm using, which is about that time. So these Easton Arrows are the Axis. They're 500 grain, five millimeter. And I had these veins and the stickers and everything all bright pink and with the green and the Knox put on it Wild Arrow. So thank you Wild Arrow. They do the best job, like I said. Now let me range, let me see how far it is from here. Hold on. Whoop. Let's hold that there. 13, so we gotta go back quite a ways. Twenty-two. Twenty on the dot, right? Okay, so shall we do this first shot? I'm at twenty yards right here. Just put the arrow in. Okay, arrow's in. It's never been shot before at twenty. This is my first time doing that this year. Let's see how it goes. Shall I pull it back? The twenty line is right here. It's not sighted, so who knows where it's gonna go. way low but that's okay like i said it it's not guaranteed to be shooting anywhere it's not sighted but let's go check it out look at that at least i didn't bust it huh don't be like oh my god it's such a bad shot oh my god she does not have to shoot her bow like i said it's not sighted at all it needs a lot a lot of work and adjusting first time shooting it at 20 so there you have so it. So I just played the video back of me shooting it to see how bad I pulled it back because I knew I struggle a little bit. And I don't need the form police out here. Um, I'm actually a really good archery shooter and bow hunter. But this is going to be kind of fun and interesting but because I'm literally going to be starting back at square one because of my injury with archery hunting. So if you're a new archery hunter, male or female, this will be kind of good for you to watch. And even if you're not, it'll be kind of fun to follow me in my journey as getting back to where I was before my injury. I know it's gonna happen. I know I'm gonna be just as successful and good at it. But as you can see in my video before, I'm leaning back. 
That's a habit I started doing when I ever first started bow hunting, ever. And it was because I wasn't strong and to compensate for that weight, I was leaning back. You can see that I just did that before because of the same reason. I'm not strong. Um, I haven't been going to the gym. I haven't been lifting. I haven't been working out. I've just been hiking some and fishing, really, kicking around on my flow tube. That is it. I'm not allowed to run. I'm not allowed to do a lot of things because of my injury. And that's okay. I'm going to get better. But use that as a reference point. When August comes, you're going to watch me pull back my bow and be like, damn! Damn, you see that? Look at where she came from, you know? That's what it's going to be like, seriously, because I've been at this point before and I can progress. Yeah, it kind of sucks being experienced now and having to start back at the beginning and knowing that so many people are going to be like, man, she sucks. She's got to start it. She can only pull back 40 pounds. Like I said, guys, I have a neck injury. I'm going to start back at the beginning. It's going to be a process. And I'm going to give it my all. And because of that, I will be successful. I know it. Okay? Okay. Believe me. But yeah, that was super fun even just pulling it back once. Um, like I said, my neck's been bothering me on the side a lot all day. I have a lot of muscular issues and uh, bone issues as well. So I'm not going to force it. But I love my new bow. Thank you to Hoyt for making such amazing bows. This is my second year shooting a Hoyt. And because of my first year shooting one, um, I got that amazing mule deer that is the mule deer of my dreams, velvet muley of my dreams. I'll put a picture of him here. And um, thank you to Wild Arrow and Jeremiah and Cody. The, they're the ones that helped me set up my bow and got everything taken care of, um, did the arrows. Thank you to Easton for making awesome arrows that I'm gonna try for the first time this year. I'm so excited. Let me think. I think that's it. And like I said, I am going to try those new Ozcat broadheads. I'm super excited about that. I'm going to try the new Tassie Tiger knives. I'm going to have everything from my hunter's haul with me, everything from on track out outdoors with me, all hunting season. It's going to be great. I have all the gear I need. I really can't ask for more. I'll put a video at the end of me shooting my bow last year if I can find a clip for one. And uh, so you guys can see what it was like last year before I rolled my truck multiple times but uh it's gonna be a process it's gonna be a journey but i'm not gonna quit because of it i'm not gonna back down so we'll make the best of it and uh you guys can watch it all happen so yeah i'm gonna end the video right there thank you guys so much for watching look he's inside the trailer just chilling um i'm thinking that i might move my trailer spot soon there's a couple things i don't like about this spot there's a couple things i really like about this spot but like i said a couple things i don't like and you're supposed to move it every 16 days, so I'm, I might start scouting for a new spot soon. But thanks again for watching, you guys. I'll have to see you next time on the YouTube. Please subscribe if you haven't already. See ya.